Gaussian process regression works by extending the idea of a probability distribution of numbers to a probability distribution of functions. When we sample an n-dimensional normal distribution, we get n numbers, which we typically think of as a point in n-dimensional space. But we can also think of them as the values of a function sampled at n points. If we let n get larger and larger, we get better and better resolution of the function. Theoretically, a function is therefore fully represented by a point in an infinite dimensional space, although a large value of n is sufficient for practical purposes. Points in a finite dimensional space can be sampled from a probability distribution, determined by a mean vector and covariance matrix. Similarly, we can have a probability distribution of functions determined by a mean function and a covariance function. For Gaussian process regression, the covariance function is determined by a chosen kernel function that describes how much influence one point has on another. This effectively determines the smoothness of the functions in the distribution. Given a set of data points, we can fit a probability distribution to them by choosing the distribution parameters to match the properties of the distribution to the properties of the data. Similarly, given a set of function values, we can fit a probability distribution of functions that closely match the given function values. Considering the whole fitted distribution of functions, we can determine the mean as well as a confidence interval. This gives us not only our regression function, but probabilistic bounds on the prediction.